The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Morning Markets Kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Now, Tommy O'Brien. Good Friday morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN. You wake up this morning, a little bit of a tech disruption, kind of a wake up of the possibilities of things that may come down the line, not even in a, a hack of any sorts. You have CrowdStrike presenting some type of problems with Microsoft with an update. CrowdStrike is going to pay the price this morning. They dive from 340 down to 270 in the overnight session. They're back to about 303. You jump over to Microsoft shares this morning. They dive down to 425 from about 440. They've regained most of those losses. Still down 1% right now in the pre-market at 434. Some of the other tech stocks in the negative, even with the NASDAQ 100 in the positive. You got Microsoft shares, excuse me, Amazon shares down about $3. This could just be cloud companies paying the price. To Google isn't though, so Amazon's down three bucks. Google actually in the positive, by about a buck seventy-five to one eighty-one right now. Um, pretty remarkable action. You kick things off, and we got the markets. S and P's up by four this morning, trading at fifty-five ninety-eight. Quite the couple of days in the market in terms of sell-offs. Quite the acceleration yesterday. Tuesday, we were trading at fifty-seven twenty-one. Overnight, 55.68. You're talking about almost 3% from highs to lows there. Pretty remarkable. NASDAQ 100, you're up by 21 points, 19,919. Yeah, Monday, we were inching towards a 21,000 handle, right? 20,797, you make it to 19,753 in the overnight session. Over 8,000 points. Remarkable, man. The volatility. Dow. Finally, get a little bit of a Dow sell-off, a little bit, right? Yesterday, you dive from 41672 to a price of 40881 You're talking about 800 points to the downside. Remarkable. Overnight, you trade lower with some of the volatility of the tech outage, and you got the Russell, positive by two points this morning. Bitcoin, up by $900. Crude, backing off 57 pennies. See the volatility on that crude contract. 8073 gold contract. Watch out. $23.99. Gold off $57 this morning. You talk about it, man. Watch out. Notes and bonds, lower price, higher yield. One ten ten twenty seven on the ten year right now. You got the two year off about three ticks at one oh two fifteen. You jump over the dollar index, DXY. We got strength. Getting back everything that we lost on Wednesday. You drive up to 104.34. We're in the volatility area from Tuesday. You take a look at the daily on the dollar. And yeah, back and above that one, um, that 382 retracement line from the move we had from basically the beginning of the year to the, low, the highs of April. You come back to that 302, and it looks like 104. It's kind of an area of resistance. Yeah, big time. And yeah, this tech issue is everywhere, man. Um, let's kick it off with the headlines. And why not? I mean, look at look at how, and it should be. I was up early this morning, man, saying, what's going on? You know, businesses slowly get back online after mass OT outage. And what do they got? Hope you're not at an airline this morning, man. United, American, and Delta grounding flights. Airlines start digging themselves out of an epic flight disruption. You got banks having problems out there. Um you know, banks are going to include potentially brokerages, right? They're going to include, you know, it's going to include everything. And, you know, I found myself wondering this morning, not wondering, it would make sense if everything wasn't so centralized, right? If Microsoft didn't control everybody's cloud computing, if Amazon web services didn't control everybody's cloud computing and Google as well. Because what happens is any of those have any problems and the whole world shuts down. Um, CrowdStrike, this is a company that is a $73 billion company and that's after the haircut that we have going on this morning where it's trading at about $300. You just lost 10% of the company. You were over $80 billion, okay, coming into last night. You shave off $40 off the 
price of each share. You're trading down at 300 and you're right back to kind of this area of support that you had back in the beginning of June. You did drive down all the way to 270, which was actually below where you were in April. Nothing like a little bit of a reminder to be diversified, man. Great company, but boy, you better watch out. You got one problem. They put an update out and that was the problem. And that did it, man. Um, yeah. Disruptions rippled across systems from Asia to the US. US issues triggered by a botched update of CrowdStrike software. This is where, folks, all right, people get upset over government regulations, right? And this is a worldwide issue, so it's not like you can just solve it with one regulation, okay? But too big to fail, right? We see it in the banks, okay? One update from one company that's valued at $80 billion put into Microsoft should not be able to bring down the globe. It should not be able to bring down global travel across the world. And that is where we are right now, right? CrowdStrike CEO said on Friday that the fault had been identified and a fix had been deployed, okay? A botched update of a widely used cybersecurity program took down Microsoft. This should not be where we are. And how do you do that? You add some regulations in there, okay? And maybe it's just regulations that Microsoft shouldn't be too big. Maybe we got the tech companies. It used to be the banks that could big every, bring everybody down. Maybe the tech companies need a little bit more regulation, okay, if they're going to bring down the whole globe with one update from a company like CrowdStrike. Airlines, banks, healthcare systems, right? What if you have some big, big operation going on today um, and they can't pull up computer systems at the hospitals because they all rely on one company, Microsoft, okay? And Microsoft's a great company, don't get me wrong, but you do see the vulnerability when everybody is reliant on one company and inevitably there are going to be problems, okay? You better be prepared. And this isn't like tinfoil hat type deals, folks, but, you know, have some cash maybe if you need it, right? Store it away if you can, because there is going to be a day when there is a hack that brings things down. This isn't a hack. This is the most mundane detail ever. There was one simple update by CrowdStrike that was faulty and brought down Microsoft. Now, it's a cybersecurity firm. I'm sure it was a cybersecurity update that somehow made things very difficult in the name of cybersecurity. Whatever it is, we'll find out, I'm sure. There have been few outages of this scale. The cascading failures underscore score vulnerabilities of the modern economy and the central role of security software, which has deep access to operating systems, right? It's a big one, man. And there is the CEO of CrowdStrike actively working with customers impacted by a defect found in a single content update for Windows hosts. Mac and Linux hosts are not impacted. Well, guess what? There's a lot of people, you know, I say everybody's on Windows. There's a lot of people on Windows, folks. Mac and Linux, they're huge as well. Um, the issue has been identified, isolated, and fixed. Now, what happens if you have an issue that can't be identified, isolated, and fixed that quickly, okay? Yeah, what happens then, right? Anyway, it speaks for itself. We got problems this morning. Hopefully, that's a little bit of a wake-up about what we can have going forward. And yeah, Windows is installed on more than 70% of machines, 70% across the globe. I mean, I woke up, thankfully everything was okay this morning. I had to reset my router. Skype is working, which works well for us, of course. TD Ameritrade, not TD Ameritrade anymore, Schwab Think or Swim. Uh, they're working this morning, but you see the potential. So a little bit of wake up. Make sure you're protected out there. Make sure that all your eggs aren't in one basket if you need them. Stay tuned, folks. We got a lot to talk about. We'll come back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Tigers, it's back. The annual July Tiger Dollar Sale. If you've been wanting to try one of our products, from our stellar newsletters to educative webinars, now is the time. From now until July 22nd, we're offering a 20, 30, even a 40% bonus on Tiger Dollar purchases. After being applied to your account, your Tiger Dollars will be used for all purchases. They can be easily transferred and never expire. If you want to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when purchasing Tiger Dollars, now's your chance. This is a perfect opportunity to try out a newsletter or save big on your current subscription. This deal is only available until July 22nd, so lock in your bonuses fast. Go to TFNN.com today to lock in your bonus. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. This portion of the morning market kickoff is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. We got the S&Ps positive by two right now. Pretty interesting. This all happens right on the heels of quite the tech pullback. Then we get the problems with the tech disruption, worldwide tech disruption going on. You jump over to Microsoft shares. They're down about $6 in the pre-market. Could be much worse, man. Could be much worse for Microsoft in terms of the potential. When you got 70% of the worldwide computers having Microsoft and you have blue screens of death everywhere, you got CrowdStrike down, yeah, still $43. What is that? 12% from where you were? You were down all the way to 270. You were down almost 20%. Yeah, you were down 20% on CrowdStrike, man. You talk about diversification. There's a heads up. Great company. You don't think CrowdStrike can be down out of the blue on a non-earnings event 20% overnight? There's your wake up, folks. Okay? And yeah, you get over to it. We're going to talk about Netflix in a second. Um, but there it is. We had blue screens of death everywhere, man. Pretty Pretty remarkable across the board. And the other one I want to get to is just talking about the amount of flights that were down. Where are we? Come on. There we are. Look at these flights. Flight cancellations worldwide by airline. 
Delta, 300 plus. And I bet this is as of 8 o'clock in the morning. That number is only bound to go up. American, what, 275. United at about 142. Endeavor at 142. You go down the line. Indigo, 62. KLM, Turkish Airlines. Voeling, Frontier, Swiss. Everywhere, man. Pretty remarkable across the board. You got people trapped. And, um, yeah, we're going to be reading a lot about this one. And you got to think about it, right? You know, I don't, you know, you don't like monopolies no matter what, okay? Because they hurt consumers, bottom line. But we are at the stage where it is inevitable, folks, that there's going to be some major hack. There's going to be some major bring down of one of these cloud services. And if we have a company like Microsoft controlling 70% of computers worldwide, I would hope that we are working towards diversifying things so that inevitably when something like this does happen on a much larger scale where they don't find the fix instantly that the whole world does not get brought down instantly and and you know keep in mind that we're going to wake up some morning i try and think in terms of my son tommy now right he is 3 years old it'll be the year my goodness 2065 by the time he is my age that that hurts. No, um, there's going to be huge disruptions at some point where things come down, whether it's a hack, whether it's something like this, that's an inevitable update. Make sure you're protected the best you can. Right. I'm not, you know, a prepper in that degree. OK, but there's nothing wrong with making sure you have a little cash because the banks go down. You can't access your capital for a period of time. Things will be able to be fixed, but there is going to be a longer term disruption that we ex- than we experienced this morning where they don't find the fix. What happens if banks can't figure things out for a few days? Right. What happens if they're down for a few days? What happens? Right. Stuff like that. You just want to kind of be careful because you see the glimpses of it. They found the fix instantly and still look at the carnage that's going on with disruptions of flights, banks, equities. Um you know, many times you may see your stock brokerages down to a certain degree. Many times in the den, people are talking about, you know, if you're a big trader out there, have a couple of different brokerages if you can, right? And make sure that maybe they're all on different web services, right? Maybe you want one brokerage that's on Microsoft. Maybe you want one that's on Amazon. I'm just thinking broader scale, but you do want to have those types of thought processes when you go through something like this and it gives you a quick glimpse of, I mean, this is CrowdStrike providing one update. They have some answering to do. Cybersecurity is huge, but when a company like Microsoft and the whole world can get brought down by one company that's only valued at $80 billion providing one update, it's pretty remarkable how quickly that goes. All right, let's talk a little Netflix. Netflix, out with their numbers last night, you dive lower instantly, but they've gotten it all back. NFLX, excuse me. Yeah, actually positive. Check it out. So in the overnight, immediately you drive lower and then they get it back. Netflix positive by $9, it looks like, in the pre-market. Netflix's next act, act going to be slower to catch on is how they put it. And they're talking about advertising growth. Going to take some time as boost from password sharing crackdown fades. Okay, so everybody that kind of got that cracked down, they've been cracked down. If you got cracked down and you were going to sign back up, you probably already did. It was probably instantaneous, right? It was one of those things. If you're sharing passwords, you instantly got kicked off and you said, ah, it's about time I sign back up or sign up, period. But check out the ad-supported revenue, okay? Ad-supported, we'll call it in a yellowish beige. Blue, just the revenue. And you can see how it's going to start to contribute a meaningful number, man. You're talking about ad-supported revenue for 2025, going to be about $4 billion. This year, 2024, about $2 billion. Didn't really exist. Yeah. Less than half a billion in 2023, and they only started coming out with this towards the end of 2022. Netflix giant launched its first ad-supported offerings in late 2022. It's remarkable that we're already almost two years into their ad-supported. I mean, time flies, man, when you think about it, right? And, you know, I talk about this all the time with my dad on the air. This is a slow crawl back to the same exact model that we've always had, man. They're figuring out that you can make more money offering it for free and selling ads. That's what network television has done forever, okay? 
and you know, I see something like Peacock, right? I'll give you an example. Peacock recently, now they just sent an email that they're jacking up prices from like 59 bucks a year to 79 bucks a year. But I got on there for $30 a year on Peacock, and I signed up for the Kentucky Derby, I think, and I said to myself, you know, that's not that bad, 30 bucks for the year, there'll be some programs I want to watch on there, and with that, you're going to get some football coverage, NFL on NBC coming up in the fall, but the reason why they gave you it for $30 is because then they get to serve you ads that they sell. And you're going to see it become a mainstream. I mean, Reed Hastings for the longest time said, we're not selling ads. That's not our business model. Well, eventually that became their business model. And now it's everybody's business model, right? Now, what they do say here is we don't we do not expect advertising to be a primary driver of our revenue growth in this year or next. Later in the conference call, you had the co-CEO, Greg Peters, said they are still hiring people for ad sales and operations. So they're still building it out, right? They're building the capabilities to meet advertisers. And yeah, so they have a tempered view. That was probably a little bit of, you know, the numbers. But guess what, man? That is quite a chart. That is quite a chart of revenue growth on this company. I mean, 2015, they were only doing 6.78 billion of non-ad revenue. Now combined, they're doing, what, 40 plus. We'll be right back, folks. you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento Friday, July 12th and Friday, July 26th, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern Time for three hours of live trading. For this month only, use promo code LarryJuly24 at checkout to save $50 on your first month's subscription. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Welcome back, folks. We got markets open and you got markets in negative territory. Not Netflix, though. You catch a bid on the open up to 671. You're up by 4.20. 420% for Netflix on the dot as we speak. S&P off by four. NASDAQ off by 24. Be careful this morning, man. I mean, I'm sure you're all aware. But yeah, CrowdStrike off by 15%. Microsoft. I'd be surprised if Microsoft finishes the day anywhere near 435. They have some vulnerabilities. If you're telling me that CrowdStrike can provide one update and bring down the globe right? You're off by 1.8%. You're off by $7, $8. Make it right now for Microsoft shares. You jump over to some of the other cloud providers. You got Amazon off by 1.5% right now. Google in the positive though, up by seven tenths percent. Yeah. We jump back to Netflix. Netflix, as I mentioned, up by $25 and finishing the conversation on Netflix. What is interesting is they added more than 8 million subscribers. Where are they? Come on. There he is. 8.1 net new paying subscribers during the June quarter. And they have 278 million subscribers globally paying specifically to watch that programming. Now, what's remarkable is you're going to stop getting those numbers in the beginning of next year, right? So the company plans to stop reporting subscriber numbers beginning next year. They announced this last quarter, I think. When is this article going to show up? Probably. Yeah, from April. So last quarter they announced this. And... That's the writing on the wall, that all the growth is going to start coming from ads. They're not going to tell you how many paying subscribers they have anymore because that number is going to stagnate. Their growth is going to come from ads. They're going to report just like any other business will with revenue and earnings. And that's going to start next year. And so they add 8 million subscribers. They got 200 and what? What did I just say? 278 million. Yeah, subscribers globally. Quite a number. They're in positive territory today. Um. yeah nonetheless the action speaks for itself and as they put it at the end of this journal article TV viewers once hated annoying ad breaks Netflix investors will want to start seeing a lot more of them soon remarkable decision to stop reporting subscribers for a company not like Netflix that once said that they will never sell ads because their business is simply selling subscriptions and that business changes dramatically. And guess what, though? Investors, they're cool with it because <laughs> you just traded from 162 a couple years ago to $700. What did we come into? 695 was the high, 697. Just missed the highest $700.99. Absolutely remarkable. Got to keep checking on Microsoft and CrowdStrike because this is going to be quite a day, man. CrowdStrike, look at that move. Whew. You talk about it, man. On a daily basis, kaboom. Yeah, that is quite a gap. And you were as low as 270 in the pre-market. And they're talking about in the den. I mean, everybody's going to have problems. My thinker swim account is working okay. But, and this is where everyone's going to have problems. 70% of computers globally are on the Microsoft operating system, man. And you got one company, CrowdStrike, bringing everybody down. I mean, let alone the people who are in airports across the globe. Absolutely remarkable that something like that brings down everybody. Yeah. That blue screen of death everywhere. <laughs> Remarkable. All right, what else we got going on? Yeah, they talk about the global items. That's going to be everywhere. I mean, you're talking about in Australia, in Sydney, right? People trapped. Europe, Asia, Britain, Germany, Taiwan, everywhere. It's just bonkers. Could use a little diversification. All right, what else we got going on in the conversation? Yeah, let's talk a little bit of Fed. Why not, man? We got dollar action today. We got gold action today. Let's check in on the dollar rates in gold. Gold contract down 56 bucks at 2400 on the dot, breaking right through that 2500 I mean, if you're looking for action here, 2300 is totally in game in gold. You know, that you had an area of 2450 was the upper boundary, 2400 a couple times. You break below 2400, 2300 is your next area of resistance on gold. Longer term, you're probably all right. But yeah, we got some volatility, man. You were just trading at 2488. You're trading at 2401. We jump over to the dollar index this morning. You're getting a little bit of a pop, but all things considered, not exactly what you'd expect to see for gold when you're only up, what, 17 pennies in that dollar index. You jump over to the euro. Euro US dollar. I mean, we got movement, but nothing too dramatic. And a great conversation with our man Teddy Kegstat. 
on Wednesday at 40 past the hour and check out the tight trading range in the euro, right? You get a lot of publicity about, you know, some of the volatility. And we were talking about patience. He was talking about patience in our interview. And look at that tight trading range, man. We had some huge volatility coming into that. And since the beginning of 2023, the euro has basically been trapped between 105 and 110. And you're talking about almost what? 20 months now? Almost 19 months, 18, 19 months that we've been in that trading range of 105 to 110 in that euro US dollar. We check out the dollar yen. Yeah, a little bit of a reverberation back up to 157.47. We were as low as 155.36 as of yesterday. All right, you got tech stocks inching back in the positive as we get the S&Ps negative by six this morning. All right, so let's talk a little bit of Fed. Bloomberg out here, Fed officials. Prepare for September cut as Powell shifts focus to jobs. Officials increasingly confident price stability is in sight. Powell is focused on the sticking, the soft landing of the economy. Especially interesting as we are now, what, three and a half months away from an election? An election that's going to be like none other in my lifetime, man. I've been talking about it. I said early in the week, I think Biden's going to step down. COVID was the last deal, man. That was the last, you know, it shouldn't have even been necessary. He should have been out of there. Um, and there's two different separators, folks, okay? Yes, he has lost some of his sharpness in that debate. No denying it, okay? Um I still think he can do the job. People are like, why is he stepping down? He's not even, you know, he's the president in name. Everything gets, everything is hyper, hyperbole, right? Nuance is where real debates and conversations occur, okay? And there's no way that he can beat Trump after that debate, period. We all saw it, right? COVID's the last one. He's going to be out. I think he's going to be out this weekend. There's a report. You got an all hands on deck meeting happening today. I don't know who goes in, but boy, it's going to be quite a show to, to figure out how they choose a nominee after the primaries for the Democrats. Um, and we have an election. We have the Fed that's going to begin cutting coming into that. They're probably going to cut in September. Where they go from there, probably going to be data dependent, as they like to say. But central bankers are ready to cut interest rates in September amid growing confidence that price stability is within sight while risks to the labor market have grown. Grown. They've laid out the groundwork for the coming move in speeches over recent weeks. Powell will likely flag it more explicitly after their meeting, July 30th and 31st. And what is that? Yeah, that's in two weeks. The 31st is that meeting. Well, of course, it's not quite a done deal, man. All right. It's not a done deal when we got two weeks and we know how quickly things move. But, you know, you talk about the CPI on a 12 month change. Look at these numbers. Right. Look at where we are as opposed to where we were when we began hiking. You look at the core number, and that was the biggest argument, right? The core number was the one that was really 6%, because many times we've had the CPI spike to dramatic numbers, but many times it had to do with the price of energy. And the one that was remarkable here is that even taking food and energy out of the equation, you still had a 6% CPI. Well, both of those numbers are back down at about 3%, and the Fed is still at five and a quarter to 5.5. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? 
one simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. And what do you know? I mean, are we going to be positive? With Microsoft today, with the way that this is going down, man, Microsoft catches a bit on the open. So much for what I was saying, but we will see. The day is young, as our band Basil Chapman says, um, and we got Microsoft charging higher. We're only negative by two tenths percent right now. You jump over to CrowdStrike shares, they are off by forty two dollars, twelve point two percent right now. Nasdaq one hundred in the positive by thirty one points. You get the Dow right now, negative by one seventy four. And talking about our man Basil Chapman, Tuesday night, folks. The opening call subscriber webinar sectors and stocks to focus on in this next phase of the market cycle the great thing is you can come on over you can click on this you can sign up for a month of the opening call you gain access for 30 days i encourage you to check out the tiger dollar sale that's running right now as well you check out the tiger dollar sale first you get a bonus on your purchase you use those tiger dollars to sign up for the opening call you gain access to basil's outstanding newsletter for 30 days you gain access to his live 90-minute webinar where he's going to talk about the sectors and stocks to focus on in the next market, this next market cycle, phase of the market cycle, I should say. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee for first-time subscribers out there. So if you're thinking about signing up, if you've never signed up, even if you've signed up before, great time to do it, man. You get 30 days. You still get a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers out there. If it's something you don't think that for whatever reason you're going to use going forward, you get a refund, and you just get refunded your Tiger Dollars. If that's what you use, you use a credit card, you get a refund there. An outstanding value. I know Basil's going to jump on with my dad this afternoon at 3 o'clock to talk about some of this market action, talk about the webinar as well. And he is coming up next, of course, with the Tiger Technician's Hour. And as I mentioned, don't forget about the Tiger Dollar sale, folks. Current subscribers out there, whether you're thinking about the opening call, my newsletter, Rocket Equities, Market Insights, Gold Report, Mastering Probability, right? Teddy Kegstad's newsletter, the Tiger Forex report out there. You got Larry's Fibonacci 24-7 out there. His live trading events. Larry's got a live trading event one week from today going on. Okay, all of that stuff. Check out the Tiger Dollar Sale. We do two of these a year. You can get a 20, 30, or 40% bonus on your purchase. An outstanding value across the board there. Check it out uh, on those Tiger Dollar Sales. I mean, you can get either $100 in free bonuses, $300 in free bonuses, or 600 free bonuses. I mean, that's the, the top level tier gets you two free months of live trading with Larry, if you look at it, right? You spend 1500 you get 2100 you get 600 free Tiger Dollar bonuses. That's two free months of Larry live trading, which is four sessions with Larry or what, you know, 
many months of a newsletter, etc. Great deal, folks, for the Tiger Dollars. So check that out on the front page of TFNN. All right, going back to the Fed, wanted to look at these charts because. So we talked about the CPI, right? And I love visual. Visual representations are huge for the human mind. Not tough to see that, yes, you can argue that we are still experiencing inflation. And definitely when you combine it in terms of the exponential nature of where prices are now versus where they've been. Okay. And then where we are with the employment situation because they have two mandates, price stability and full employment. Okay. And look at where we are in terms of full employment. Look at the unemployment rate. Can't deny that's on the rise. We were as low as 3.4. We're now at 4.1. Job openings, right? We're down to a number that's about 8 million versus when we were sputtering at 12.2. Average hourly earnings, percentages, increases, well off the highs. And non-farm payrolls, remember when we were hitting non-farm payrolls coming out of COVID at a million? <laughs> remember that? Well, even when we were at 300, we've sputtered. And now what'd we get? We got revisions to 100, 200, and 206. So quite the number, man. And listen, in the den, Dano, you know, listen, you know, I know that Biden is not as sharp as he was, but you're talking about dangers, man. You know, everything gets political. Everything gets hyperbole. OK, as far as I'm concerned, um, and Trump's got some good policies. OK, he does. But I say this all the time. Democracy, preserving democracy for my son. OK, the peaceful transfer of power is the most important thing in a democracy. And that is what the saddest thing is about what's occurring with Trump, if you want to get into it, all right? You say, Biden, that he's a danger, okay? It is remarkable that Trump is running, folks. It can't help it, you know? I don't want to get political. He's running with a different vice president because Pence can't stand the guy because Pence just certified the election that he lost in and Trump's supporters stormed the Capitol chanting for his head, Pence, and Trump did nothing and sat back and watched it all. And somehow that's not a danger, you know? So I don't understand how that one plays out because the peaceful transfer of power is so important and that's the one that gets removed from the whole situation, okay? That's the one. That is, yeah. And I'll do what I want, Peter. So take it, take it as it is or take a hike, brother. There it is, right? My show. You don't want to watch it, you don't have to, man. Because my son's three years old. And I'm making sure that when he's 44, okay, this whole deal with elections not getting certified and just overruling certain states and calling secretaries of states and saying, find me votes, that's not American, okay? Everything else is totally in game here. Policies are in game. I love the conversation, whether it's immigration, whether it's everything. I love the conversation, okay? But this whole deal about elections, wake up. OK, because that is a real tragedy that is going on and and we're seeing it play out and somehow it's just dismissed. And four years ago, almost didn't happen anymore. So, you know, that's that's the bummer of it all. It is. And that's the one that people need to wake up because we used to be respected and we used to be the anomaly across the globe that the peaceful transfer of power, which is what was the most remarkable thing in the world. And I think we could all agree that that's in question right now, you know, and so that's the deal which is a bummer. All right, we'll get back to the markets. S&Ps, negative by two. Let's keep track of what we got going on, man, with Microsoft. We're going to be positive today on Microsoft shares. They're down by $2.67, only six tenths percent, right? How about that one, man? Six tenths percent on a day that they bring down the globe. Pretty remarkable that that is the case. CrowdStrike, not so much. They're down $35 or 10% on that equity. You could say they're lucky in terms of their $37 off the lows of where they were. You're trading up 37 bucks from the low of 270. You're at 308 on CrowdStrike shares. We check in on Netflix after their numbers. They pull back. Yeah. Listen, this is all garbage. Would everybody chill out in the den, man? Everybody wants to talk about politics until they don't, Jimmy. You know, you were in there this weekend talking about the assassination, man. You were in there posting J.D. Vance's, okay? So don't tell This is bonkers. Everybody wants to talk about it until somebody else talks about it. You know, you want to be in there, Jimmy? I love you, man. You're, you're one of the greatest contributors to the den, okay? I hope you're in there forever. But you're in there posting J.D. Vance's tweets, 
like somehow that's that's a reasonable rhetoric and then telling me to lay off the the you know the speaking about it so so everybody's got an opinion until somebody else has got an opinion man which is a real bummer and you know this whole deal with the peaceful transfer of power and trump like january 6th never happened i would love to just have every single quote after january 6th that's not how democracies go forward for decades folks it's not I love some of the policies that Trump has, okay? But you need to respect the rule of law. And this whole deal that the president now has, you know, complete immunity. Everybody said give Trump a chance. Now the president has complete immunity and he's going to be in again. And we all saw what happened when he lost. It's a bummer. But move forward and America will be fine as long as you stand up. That's right. That's what I'm doing. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors the reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades at TFNN we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news that's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. S&P's off by four points. Market's slightly in the red. You get the Dow trading lower. 40,712, you're off by 247. The Russell negative by three this morning. We check in on some of the stocks in focus. Can't help but keep our eye on Microsoft shares. Barely in the red. You gotta be happy if you're a Microsoft investor, man. Bringing down the globe and somehow they're barely in the red this morning. CrowdStrike, not quite the same, but they catch even a bid. Still quite a number, off by 8.6%. Very fortunate that they caught this thing almost instantly, right? As in, they caught the fix, they fixed it. As I said at the beginning of the program, make sure that you are protected because eventually something like this is going to happen and they're not going to fix it instantly. 
So whatever that means to you, whatever you need in the event the technology is brought down, the internet is brought down for a period of a couple of days. Like I say, I think in terms of my son's life, right? Making sure, because you should think in longer term, right? Run the sample size over decades. Don't run it over a day. Is everything going to be happen to find them all? Of course, it's going to be find them all, right? But are we going to have a huge disruption globally over the next 10 or 20 years where a hacker somehow brings down every cloud computing structure? Yes, it's probably going to happen, right? We're seeing a little glimpse of what could happen today so quickly. Make sure you're protected, whatever that means. You don't have to be a full-on prepper, okay? The world is not going to end. Um, and if it does end, what's the point of prepping for it, right? But make sure you're protected. Maybe you have a little bit of cash stored away just in case you need it for a period of time when banks aren't accessible. Maybe you have two brokerages just in case one of them comes down, et cetera. Whatever that means, just think about it because it means different things to different people across the board. You check out some of the airlines. Delta down to one, about 1%. 1 United shares down about half a percent this morning. Um, yeah, American. Not that bad. You were down to 1043. You're at 1060 so far this morning. A little bit of negative territory. You jump over to Netflix on their earnings. Pretty flat. You're up by $3. They're going to stop reporting subscriber numbers. It's all going to be about revenue growth, and it's all going to be about ads growing forward. We go to Disney shares. Disney off about half a percent. If you're watching Disney, the one thing about Disney uh, as we wrap up the show, just sputtering at that 618. You're sitting at 9629. They got Deadpool and Wolverine coming out a week from today that's bound to be a big one for them uh ryan reynolds hugh jackman coming out a week we'll see if that affects the stock and a dog sitting right at that 618 and taking it on the chin this week folks thanks so much for tuning in stay tuned for basil don't forget about